Winglets are the vertical fin at the end of airplane wings, and they reduce drag. They look like the active winglets on the CJ-1 right behind me. Drag on an airplane comes in a few different forms, but induced drag is a major component. Induced drag is the drag that comes from the lift itself. When a wing is lifting, the pressure on the underside of the wing is higher than the pressure on the top of the wing. That being the case, the high pressure air leaks around at the wing tip from the bottom to the top. And the swirling spoils the lift near the tip and the trailing vortices produce drag. Putting a winglet at the wing tip reduces the drag by what we call end plate effect, or blocking the air from swirling from the bottom to the top. This significantly reduces the wing tip vortices and it also allows the wing to generate more lift near the tip because the flow is more aligned from the front to the back. We can increase efficiency by increasing the aspect ratio alone because a higher aspect ratio wing will also have less induced drag than a similar wing with a lower aspect ratio. This is why gliders have long slender wings. This increase in aspect ratio could be achieved by simply extending the wing, but other restrictions come into play like airport gate sizes that restrict the overall wingspan, which is the case on a Boeing 737 or an Airbus A320. Adding winglets or adding span to reduce drag always produces a shift in the center of pressure of the wing. This is by design to get that more efficient lift distribution on the wing. But from a structural standpoint, this is a major downside because the wing is now supporting the weight of the aircraft further from the fuselage and that produces a higher bending moment in the wing structure.